Applying design-specific thresholds to a Wi-Fi survey can be a time-consuming process. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Insights to quickly provide pass-fail results for your wireless surveys and easily add these results to a report. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Insights for analyzing Wi-Fi surveys. The topics covered will be, what is Insights? using filters with insights, setting insights thresholds, running insights, saving insights templates, and adding insights to a report. Insights provides automatic analysis of Wi-Fi surveys and provides quick pass-fail results. It allows for pass-fail thresholds to be applied to a Wi-Fi survey. When run, insights will evaluate the measured values against the provided thresholds to automatically identify network issues and provide a quick pass or fail. Not only can Insights help simplify the process of identifying Wi-Fi network problems, it speeds up the process of determining if a new Wi-Fi installation meets the design requirements. It also provides an easy means for communicating this to the customer. Insights is only available for passive surveys. Let's take a look at how Insights may be used to quickly analyze a Wi-Fi survey that we've performed. I'll begin by going to my AirMapper surveys and selecting a survey. Next, I'll click on Wi-Fi survey. From here, I'll click on the light bulb icon to open Insights. Clicking on Edit Limits will display the default limits for Insights. Limits may be enabled or disabled by clicking on the checkbox next to the limit. For information about the limit and recommended thresholds, you can click on the I next to the limit name. When setting values for each of the options, it's important to look at the design requirements for the Wi-Fi network. Depending on the bandwidth and coverage demands, you may need to adjust these values to ensure you're getting the coverage and performance required by your specific needs. As I scroll down, you can see there are specific settings for both 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. Selecting Offending BSS IDs will display a list of all BSS IDs that fail to meet the BSS ID specific thresholds. For instance, if an AP in the 2.4 GHz band is running a 40 MHz wide channel, it will be displayed in the list of offending BSS IDs. This is a great way to isolate those devices that have been misconfigured and are failing to meet the thresholds configured in the Insights limits. Let's scroll down to channel width. As I mentioned in the previous example, we don't want to see any devices in the 2.4 GHz band using channel widths greater than 20 MHz. Here we can specify those channel widths that should not be allowed. Any device using disallowed channel widths will be listed under Offending BSS IDs. It's important to maintain a secure wireless network. By selecting those wireless protocols that are disallowed on your network, you can easily identify those BSS IDs that are using unsecure protocols. Clicking on the drop-down arrow will display a list of protocols you may select the protocols you want to disallow by checking the box. Base rate. Base rate is the data rate used to transmit frames such as beacons. The lower the base rate, the more airtime that is taken to transmit management and control frames. This limit may be used to ensure the selected base rate is being used by all the BSS IDs. 5 GHz. The limits in this section are specific to those BSS IDs operating in the 5 GHz band. DFS channels may interfere with radar transmissions and are banned in some countries. Selecting this option will identify those BSS IDs using DFS channels and list them as offending BSS IDs. As with 2.4 GHz, 
you may select those channel widths and security protocols that are not allowed on your network. Once we've configured the Insights limits to meet the design specifications of our network, we can click on Apply. We are now ready to configure the filters that will be used for Insights. In most cases, there are other networks operating near our network over which we have no control. We will want to filter those networks out and only apply the Insights limits to our networks. In this case, I'll start by deselecting SSIDs. I'll then scroll down and select the SSID from my network and click Apply. Clicking on Run Insights will apply the filters I set to the BSSIDs that match the filter criteria specified. I can now see each of the thresholds and whether the network passed or failed. For the most part, it looks like we passed. Here we can see that adjacent channel interference failed. Let's dig into that. Our threshold was set to 1 AP. However, we can see the worst case was 9 APs. To see where that is occurring on the heat map, I'll click on the magnifying glass icon to apply that option to the map. I'm going to close Insights and the Option Description. We can see the lower right corner of the heat map is orange, indicating that is where the most adjacent channel interference is occurring. I'm going to turn on values to display the interference values for each data point. Now I can see where my worst values are located. Clicking on a data point will display the BSSIDs discovered at that location. Now let's go down to one of the BSSIDs with nine adjacent channel interferers. I'll click on the number of interferers. Here I can see a list of those devices that are interfering with our network. Being that these devices are out of our control, we may want to move to a different channel to reduce interference. Now that I've got the Insights thresholds and filters configured the way I want them, I'm going to add them to a report template. I click on the Insights icon again and run Insights. After it's complete, I'll click on Add at the bottom of the screen. Here I can enter a name for the template and provide a description. The included options and threshold values are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Clicking Save will save the template to the list of available Insights templates. The saved templates may be managed and applied by clicking on the Tools icon in the lower right corner and selecting Browse Insights Templates. From here, I can apply a template or delete it. To generate a PDF report that includes Insights, I click on the Tools icon in the lower right corner of the screen and then click on Generate Report. After entering a name and a description, I can select from a list of available Insight Templates and Heat Map Templates. The report will be available in the File section of Link Live. Insights reduces the time necessary to isolate problematic BSSIDs. Thresholds may be configured within Insights to reflect the design specifications of the Wi Fi network. Filters may be applied to narrow the networks and bands analyzed by Insights. The results of the Insights analysis may be added to reports. Thank you.